Okay, in the following cases, you have to tell me uh, which is more reactive towards the addition of HBr. So let us say uh, this problem is addition of HBr 8.47. So this says me which is more reactive towards the addition of HBr. So let us say I have so a part I have two molecules I have propene so let me write CS3 CH double bond CH2 so this molecule I have and I also have two methyl propene so on two we have methyl group CS3 CH2 here I have CS3 so this is two methyl propene now we have two groups, two methyl propene and propene. So this is simply propene. This is propene. And this is two methyl propene. No need to write the name. Two methyl propene. Propene. Now which will be more reactive to us HBr? This means if I treat HBr with this, also treat HBr with this compound, which will reaction rate will be faster in which case? You can give the answer. Basically, you know the answer. This one or this one? This one. But why? Yeah, because in this case, the carbocation generated will be tertiary. In this case, carbocation generated will be secondary. So, if you add HBr, what will happen? You will have CH plus CH3. And in this case, you will have CH3, C, CH3, CH3 plus. Now this case you are getting a carbocation that is 3 degree and this case carbocation is 2 degree so this will be more reactive. You are getting an so this is more reactive. So this will be more reactive, this will be less reactive. Now part B you have, so same, uh, let me, I think you have copied this one. So B part you have, so B part says a cyclohexene, so you have a cyclohexene. And you have another molecule, one methyl cyclohexane. So you have this molecule. Now tell me which will be more reactive. Now you know the answer. In this case, this will be more reactive because carbocation will be 3 degree and here you will get a 2 degree carbocation. So this is more reactive. I think all of you have ever to understand this one. No point of writing more. So let us discuss C. Now this one we have butene so let us say let me write ch3 c h2 c double bond h ch2 if nothing is written i will assume this is a one butene if simply they are writing butene this means this has to be has a uh, one butene so this is a one butene post number one two three four double bond at post number one so this is one butene so now 1-butene or butene is the same compound and 1,3-butadiene. So next you have 1,3-butadiene. So let me have CH2 double bond CH, CH double bond CH2. Now you give me which will be the more reactive. Yes, in this case the carbocation form that is a resonance stabilized basically will get an allylic carbocation. In this case you are getting carbocation CH. CH plus CH3 this carbocation is resonance stabilized are you getting or not but in this case you will have only a secondary carbocation not resonance stabilized so this will be more reactive are you getting I think all of you are able to understand this one this is a pretty easy problem reactivity will depend upon a stability of carbocation if the carbocation formed is more stable so rate of reaction will be fast, so simple. So if you have copied this one, I can go for the next problem.